New at 5, a former state medical examiner says prosecutors rushed to judgment when they ruled a Gwinnett County man's death a likely suicide. His family is fighting for justice. Channel 2's Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Tony Thomas is live in Lawrenceville. And Tony, you found a new witness who police are now talking to. Jovita Andre Udovich's own mother says he had a troubled past. She says that includes dealing with drugs and also what she called half-hearted attempts at suicide. Officials point to that and other evidence, like this gun, to say he killed himself in 2016. But others, well, they aren't so sure. And that includes the former state medical examiner and also a potentially key witness we found that isn't mentioned in the case files. What does this all mean to you? Uh, I mean a lot. Zenka Udovicic looks over a small memorial for her son, Andre. I miss him. I miss him so much. Two years after his death, Zenka is still fighting for her son. Authorities say Andre shot himself in the chest with a long gun, an SK rifle measuring 27 inches from the trigger to the tip after a breakup with his girlfriend. Zenka says it was murder and claims her son told her so on the phone. I heard him in the background saying, Mom, she just shot me. Yeah, it was May 15th, 2016. Andre's friend called 911. I got a friend who has been shot. I don't know if he got shot or shot himself. Malachi Smith said there was blood everywhere. Andre was slumped over in the bathroom. Lilburn police would later charge Smith and Andre's girlfriend, Dominique Murray, with tampering with evidence. Investigators say they moved marijuana and the rifle out of the apartment and into the nearby woods. Records show Lilburn police investigated the case as a possible homicide until the Gwinnett County Medical Examiner ruled the case was consistent with suicide. I think he shot himself to try and get his girlfriend back and then he bled out. Zenka refused that answer and launched her own investigation, including hiring former state medical examiner Chris Sperry to take a look. In his report, Sperry called the circumstances extremely suspicious and any suicide ruling premature. But Sperry and the Gwinnett DA don't see eye to eye. I wouldn't believe Chris Sperry if he told me the sky was blue. In his report, Sperry also said the ruling was based on an incomplete investigation. Open my door and say, hey, Andre, you all right? Marcus Bridges lived next door to Andre and says cops never got his full story. As they see him kicking at the door, you're going to let me in, you're going to let me in. Marcus says seconds later, Andre's girlfriend opened the door and let him in. Marcus says he thinks there was another man inside the apartment, too. Later that afternoon, Bridges says he heard a noise. It sounded like a nail going. I know I sound like a, you know, you know, going off, and I heard a lot of stuff moving around. Prosecutors say they have evidence proving Andre's girlfriend dropped him off and left and did not return until after the shooting. For investigators, that and the medical examiner's findings were enough to close the case, but not for this grieving mother. Who do you believe shot him? Um, I don't know. I can't say. I won't, wasn't there. They were making me uh, look like I'm crazy. I'm just a mother who won't blame somebody. The Gwinnett County Medical Examiner told us by email, quote, the police and the DA's office have been aware of the mother's suspicions, as have I. To date, she said there is no evidence to support them. Lilburn's police chief told me by phone that he believes, with all the evidence, that that gunshot was self-inflicted. And Tony, what about that neighbor's story? Are police interviewing him now or when? Well, Javita, when we went and uh, we notified police that we had uh, spoken with uh, Marcus Bridges, he's that potentially key witness. I'm told just this last week, investigators from Lilburn Police went and talked to him, and I'm told he stuck by that same story he told us. Live in Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News. Tony, thank you.